this, that I have known people that, and I've got about a minute and 10 seconds here, but I have known people who were converted to the Lord that never were baptized in water, and they That's struggled. Right. That's right. Once they are baptized in water, something happens. And I think it's like circumcision of the flesh was a token of the covenant. Exactly. Am I right? Exactly. It's a token of covenant family and covenant relationship absolutely releases that anointing in their lives. And I will tell you this. Uh, in the early uh, church, in the Greek Orthodox Church this day, when they baptize them by immersion mm -hmm. in water as adult converts, they immediately anoint them with what they call the charism. Yeah. Now, it's a form. It's formula. Right. Uh, but but, but it, that was done. I did some. That was the early church. That in the early church, and I tell you something else. When they used yeah. to baptize, but yeah. they, according to the, I think it's the Didache, it's one of the yeah. writings. But they would go once in the Father, once in the Son, yeah. and once in the Holy Spirit. They right. actually dipped them three times. That's right. And Listen, it, it's a few weeks ago, Perry, when we were we baptized 170 on one Wednesday night when Damon Thompson was there yeah. with us, and he was affirming connection to the local church that night. I would say out of the 170, probably 30. Came up speaking in tongues. Is that right? At the I moment? mean, right at that Amazing. moment. So I think what you're saying, it's not legalistically so. No. Right, right. But I think water baptism as an act of obedience can release Absolutely. the baptism. You ain't Absolutely. got to wait till you're 41 years old like I did. <laughs> well, listen, it has something very special to offer you, and uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I want to give you a special offer only for the next few weeks, and you'll understand why I'm saying limited, because there's something special in this. I've put together by your request what I believe to be the five most important prophecy messages that we have recently preached. Here's the titles. Living on earth while your heart is in heaven. Have you ever lost a child? Do you know someone that has? There are no children in hell. They're in heaven. And I'll show you that from the scriptures. I'll also show you evidence of why sometimes God allows a child to be taken to heaven so young. Here's our second audio CD. Can believers alter the prophetic future? There's a teaching going around that says that if Christians intercede, we can change the tribulation and even convert the Antichrist. Is that a true teaching? Is that some new doctrine? And what kind of a spiritual authority do believers have over prophetic events? We'll answer that on this CD. Prophetic insights into the Crescent Revolution discover the prophetic and spiritual significance of the uprisings taking place in Egypt and Libya and throughout the Middle East. And I will show you how these uprisings are preparing the nations for the kingdom of the beast mentioned in Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. Now, the, the next audio CD in the series is the mystery of the first fruits from the dead. The Bible says Christ is the first fruits of the dead, but what does that mean as it relates to your and I and our family's resurrection? What does it mean to be the first fruits? This is a very anointed message that was preached in Jacksonville, Florida. And the fifth CD in the series is what is the battle of Armageddon? This is a question that many people have. They have serious questions about what is the battle, where does it take place, the timing of it. It's the mother of all battles, so we're going to explain it to you in minute detail on this tape. Now, I've also done something special that we've never done in an audio series before. Not only are you getting, going to get the five audio CD messages, but no, notice I have a, a replica of a harp beside me. We have discovered, I, I preached a message uh, sometime back at our partners conference called the Zing of the String, and it was about the power of the music of the harp. The only instrument in heaven played in worship is the harp. Larry Bean went to the studio and produced a, the sounds of a harp CD. We call it the music of heaven, and here's what I've done. If you order this uh, album today, I'm going to put in this an extra additional CD called The Sounds of Heaven. You're going to get the harp CD. I'm listening to it every day while I'm studying and preparing my messages for the conference, and you will too, I promise, when you're praying and studying. So there's six audio CDs. If we include the one on the harp, go to 1888-21-BREAD, perrystone.org, or write us. The information is on the screen. It's $30, and that's a great deal and a great offer this month. So, having said that, I pray that you will be blessed by the Word of the Lord. And uh, we're going to uh, kick into some brand new series, as you know. We're going to be having uh, some, some new programs. And we're also going to be doing, probably in the month of August, some very special updates. Because a lot of people have asked us, Perry, please do some updates about the United States. Because we usually, once a year, we do what's called a prophetic update about America. And we haven't done it so far. So my plan is to be able to do an update about the United States 
and where we are probably somewhere in the month of August. Now, that's the goal. Don't hold me to it yet because we always have to pray about what we do. Now, if you can, join me in the following meetings. I'm coming to Powder Springs, Georgia, July 22nd through the 24th. Uh, this is a great church, Trinity Chapel, Pastor Jason Boland. And there'll be a Saturday morning, of course, Sunday morning service there. All you folks from Cartersville, Atlanta, all that area, all the way to Gainesville, come down there and let's converge. Just have a convergence right there at that great church that weekend. Or right now, word from God. Friday, August the 12th, Friday night, the Power Plant Ministry Center, Pastor Andrew Tal, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'll be preaching there. Then I'll be coming to our main East Coast camp meeting, which is Christ Temple Church. This is a great church, man. They got That church is worth going to just to hear the music and, and to meet the pastor. He is a wonderful pastor and a wonderful man of God. Huntington, West Virginia, Wednesday through Sunday night, August the 17th through the 21st. And uh, then we're going to be coming to Family Faith Church in Willis, Texas with Pastor Jeff Hackleman, our dear friend, Friday through Sunday, August the 26th to the 28th. We do have a morning service. And by the way, in a lot of these meetings, these main meetings, Larry and Gina Bean will be doing the music with us. And then we're going to be coming Coming to Victory Christian Center, Tulsa, Oklahoma, September the 9th through the 11th. And speaking of the month of September, on September 19th, my darling wife turns 50 years of age. Let me brag on her just a minute. And I say, this is something I've told her for years privately, and I'm not just blowing smoke publicly to make points with her, because I've already made my points with her when I married her. But here's something about my wife. I've always told her she is so pretty. She's got a little bit of Indian in her, that real, real, she tans so nice. She has no blemishes on her skin. I said, you're the only woman I ever met in the world that don't need, to, need makeup. You can wake up without makeup and look like an angel. And my sweetheart, we've been married now for about 30 years. And uh, I, man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm as crazy about her today as I was when I met her. Maybe even more so. You guys know what I'm talking about. The longer you stay married, you bomb with each other, man. I mean, you can look at each other, kind of glance, and you know what you're thinking, you know, after a while. But uh, on September the 19th is her 50th birthday. So if you want to remember that and send her a card letter or something, I know she would just enjoy hearing from you. And just want to let you know that happy birthday to my wife. And I know I'm saying that in advance, but uh, our programs are always uh, uh, taped in advance and so on, and, and our closings are as well. Now, the other thing, real quick, is uh, our Israel tour. Go to our website at perrystone.org to get information. We do have some seats available for you. And if you live outside the United States, you can contact the travel company. Those where the travel and get information on how uh, to meet us over in Israel on the tour. So I want to thank you for joining me. And I always want to conclude our program when we have the amount of time that we do to just invite you to turn your life over to the one person who died for you and raised from the dead, Jesus Christ. If Christ be not risen from the dead, everything I'm doing is in vain. But we know he's risen because he is able to transform the lives of drug addicts, prostitutes, alcoholics, and just common men and change them forever. And when you ask Jesus to forgive you of your sin and come into your life and you believe it by faith, you can actually feel something happening inside of you. So today, my friend, ask him in. Tell him to forgive you of your sins. Tell him to make ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. That's the most important decision you'll ever make. Be back next week.